So what I'm going to do, Chad's standing here. Chad's not a nice guy. He decides to throw a punch. So Chad throws a punch. I'm simply just going to take it because most often you're never going to be able to manipulate that arm. It's going to take too long to teach you how to fancy wrap and do all these things. So we're getting down to the basics again, modular setting for fighting. So Chad throws this punch, and I'm going to let it come this direction. Now from here, we start looking at what else can I do to do damage to Chad? Because again, darker side of martial arts, we're not just going to block in martial arts anymore. What we need to do is finish this man and then get out. So the way we do this is Chad throws a punch. I'm in. Now I simply wrap around, and I'm going to go for the break. And let's talk about arm breaks before we move on. If you've never broken a bone in an arm, if you can see this, I don't know if you can see this, this is about a five or six inch scar along my arm here. This is from having this bicep detached from this type of fighting. So if you've never had that experience, you know that once that happens, Chad was there when it happened, I stood up and left. I was done fighting, had to go see the doctor and surgeon have it sewn back on. Most people in the streets, when you snap a bone, you tear a muscle off, they're not going to fight you anymore. They've had enough. The surrender usually comes immediately. It doesn't mean we're going to stop beating them up. It doesn't mean we're going to stop attacking and defending ourselves, but we're going to initiate a break. So Chad throws a punch. I'm in this tight blocking stance here, and all I'm going to do is wrap around the arm and hook with my right arm. With my left arm, I'm simply going to push. And what I'm looking to do is snap, detach this bicep muscle here. I'm going to de detach, and if it doesn't detach, I'm looking to break the two forearm bones here. So I'm simply snapping here. So we're going to speed it up a little bit. Chad throws, and I'm going to break. Common break for martial arts instructors. A lot of martial arts instructors have this bicep detached. Beginning students do this, but they're told to do this, and they accidentally detach the bicep of their martial arts instructor. So we use this in real life. This is an excellent technique that if we get hit, hands are up, and he hits me, I'm still in this position. I can still hook around the arm and drive. And this eventually can even become a thrill. We'll worry about that later. 